Hello, everybody. It's Dagan again, back with another Beard Product Review. And today we're going to talk about Big Fat Beards, which is based in the UK. And I actually won a oil and butter combo from a live stream that Maverick Beards was doing with the owner of the Big Fat Beards. So I'm going to do a review on them. Now, what they sell, they sell oil, balm, soap, some swag items, and a few other things. Now, when it comes to price, I'm going to mention the price in U.S. dollars uh, based on the uh, current conversion rate. So they sell a 30 milliliter oil, which is a basically a 1.01 uh, 1 .01 ounce oil for $16.50. A 50 milliliter bomb for uh, which converts to a 1.7 ounce for 1650. He also has a oil bomb combo that convert is, is a 3167 and uh, oil bomb soap combo which is 3959. And shipping for these will be about $16. Now when it comes to presentation, I, this is what his bottles look like. They have a square bottle. It's black, it has a label in the front with the uh, name of the scent profile. In this case, I got Oriental, Oriental Whiff that he sent to me. In the back, it has the li list of the ingredients and his website and stuff. So I'm actually, I'm pretty, I like these square bottles actually. I think they're pretty cool. Of course, it has a dropper top. And for the bomb, he has his label on top here. And there's nothing on the side. And on the bottom has a list of the ingredients. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but the name of the ingredients are not in the common form, but we'll get to, to that a little bit later. And when it comes to uh, presentation of his website, I think his website, you know, overall layout of his website is pretty, pretty good and easy to follow, so no problems there. All right, so when it comes to uh, consistency, let me get some out for you. I'm right, going to consider that maybe about medium type oil. And when it comes to the ingredients, I'm going to uh, Pop up a little thing right here and to uh, show you the, the ingredients he has. Like I said, it's not in the common form, so I'm going to list the ingredients that he has listed on the bottle and the actual common name of the ingredients. And while that's posted up there, I'm going to talk about the scent just to save a little bit of time. And the scent, you know, based on this on what he has there is the cedarwood, tea tree, lavender, and uh, rosemary. And overall, what I get mostly is the cedar wood. So I can really, I can really smell the, the cedar in it. So it's a nice, nice woodsy scent. And I do get a little bit of the rosemary and maybe a really tiny hint of the lavender. But overall, it's just really great you know, kind of woodsy scent. All right, so when it comes to the consistency of the uh, beard balm, Here's what it looks like. Now it is a thick, so I can push down here and it's very hard. So you do gotta use your fingernail to come out, but it does come out pretty, you know, fairly easy. And it kind of just breaks down, you know, fairly good, but so like that. And when it comes to the uh, ingredients on there, here as well, I'm gonna do another little pop-up for the ingredients with the, uh, what he has on here and the common name for it. And while that's popped up there, I will talk about the scent again to save a little time while you're reading that. And for this, I, I don't smell the cedar as much. It's not as woodsy, but it does have a few extra ingredients. As you can see on the very bottom, the uh, lim limony and uh, uh, linalo, I'm, I know I just messed those up, but those are like a lemon-like scent and a floral type scent. So I think those are kind of offsetting the cedar a little bit. So it does smell a little bit 
bit more uh has a little bit more of a floral type in there i can smell okay but overall so it's a really great scent but like i said the uh it's not as pronounced in the cedar probably this base uh on those two bottom scents that you see all right now when it comes to filling beard the old it definitely did its job you know it kept my skin hydrated and never had any problem with the itchiness uh, and then, you know, to cut my beard, and you know, I did use the oil just on the beard. Uh, it didn't, you know, keep my beard nice and soft. So I really like that. And when it comes to the uh, beard balm, as you can see, it does have shea butter and beeswax as the top ingredients there, it, but it is quite hard. So I think there's actually, you know, more beeswax in here. But the uh, when I put it in my beard, it did, you know, give me a nice styling property, but also actually, you know, softened up my beard, you know, you know, a tad little bit. So, you know, that was kind of enjoyable too. So uh, the Beard Bomb, when it comes to Beard Bomb, just, you know, it does do a good, really good styling property and, uh, you know, this off on the beard, you know, just a tad. So overall, you know, pretty good products. And would I buy them again? Yes, I, I think I will. And matter of fact, he is uh, working on a butter right now. So uh, hopefully uh, he'll get that going and get down on the website and uh, maybe looking forward to try that butter as well. Now, for, as for the soaps, I did forgot to mention, I, I did, do not know what size of soaps are uh, because I could, didn't find it on the website. But, uh, but overall, uh, I did not have the soap to try out, but you know, it's a pretty good deal for the, for the combo for oil butter, uh, sorry, oil bomb soap combo for, uh, uh, you know, about 40 bucks. So it's not too bad. So if you like, you know, try them out. I'll have the, his link in to the website in the description below as uh, well as Maverick Beard's uh, YouTube channel from when, the, when I won this, uh, won this product. So you can check out his channel as well. And remember, keep your beards healthy until next video.